Hi, Sag. Welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Sagittarius. Wow, how appropriate. Sagittarius, sun, moon, or rising. And as always, well, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Sag and the message could be for you. So feel free. Hell yeah. Feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below in the description box. Just go ahead and subscribe your email there. That way you'll always get an email notification every time my availability does open up. And um, also you guys can follow me over on Instagram. That information is also down below. I just talk a bit more on quantum physics over there. And as always, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways that you've supported the channel. Let's jump in. Hello. Hello. Okay. Nice. Nine of Pentacles on the bottom. Some of you guys could be business owners or entrepreneurs or you're just super like independent, self-sufficient right now. Just doing your thing and doing well. Okay. Handling your stuff. This is amazing. This is you. There could be something new that you're starting up or you start to see some really positive progress over this next week. Very enthusiastic, direct, progressive. Look at this. This is amazing. So something here, you're, you're getting progress. Like some of you guys, this could be in a creative project or a sport or a hobby because this is action. This is something, this is like endorphins, you know, this is like when you start to activate your chemical body and this also could be sunlight, like absorbing photons of light. So it's a lot of alchemy for you over this week, like a lot of doing certain things to kind of raise your energy and to raise your vibration scientifically. It's like, that's how you're seeing progress over this next week is something that you're taking action on. Okay. Well, I love that. Well, interestingly, cause I feel like, so you'll be in this really interesting process, Sag, as far as day to day the when you take action on something you can see that it uplifts you and there's a specific energy that you will be detaching from okay maybe turning your back on this for some of you guys this could be a person because that is probably one of the strongest drugs in the world but it also could be certain chemical things that pull at you that destabilize you that you're aware of you know like chemical things that you ingest in any way, shape, or form, full of free radicals, and you know, blah, blah, blah. That's what you're detaching from slowly. But it's a very positive thing, and you'll be able to feel the difference. You're like, yeah, this this thing that I go towards, this feels very positive. I want to go towards here. It makes me feel really good, okay? And it's like you're feeling the difference of that every day. Well, and this is really amazing, because... <laughs> I feel as though, huh, we have the Page of Cups and the Emperor, and then the Four of Wands in the center. This is, this is amazing. That's, for some of you guys, could be marriage, or it could just be a lot of happiness in your home. Some of you guys, um, you might be making an offer, or you might come across something new. There could be something connected to either father or business owner or some type of uh, person in power that you might be going towards and uh, maybe making an offer on. It could be an offer on a home, but Page of Cups can be also romantic a little bit too. Let's see what this is talking about. Okay, yeah. Don't you just love when the cards shuffle like that? It's delicious. Okay. Alrighty, Rue, my loves. Okay, Seven of Wands, first card out. All right. 
What are you, a little defensive? Oh, look at that. There's the Eight of Cups. Oh, now it's in reverse. You know what's interesting? Okay, this could be some of you guys that you're back and forth. You could be like, at one moment you're emotionally detaching from someone or something, and then you go back to it, okay? I feel like that's what you're going to be processing through. Wow, the Sun card. The fact that it's upside down is kind of showing me that depending on your energy, like what goes on day to day, like if you don't have, if you don't take action on something or do or get out in the sun or whatever it is, you feel like energetically and emotionally you go back to something that's maybe not the best for you. It kind of destabilizes you and it makes your equilibrium fall off track. So you're like deciphering the difference over that. The two of wands upside down. Why do I feel like something is on hold? The strength card. Okay, that's interesting because I I um, pulled that in the other deck. I just didn't pull it out here. Six of cups. Seven of pentacles upside down. What? Knight of pentacles upside down. Okay, I'm going to tell you something. Okay, the hanged man upside down. And the Wheel of Fortune, heck yes. Okay, this is so good. All right, it's a little tricky here because I'm gonna, I'm just gonna tell you this. I feel like some of you guys have some type of devil energy. Sorry, it's just how it comes out. But it's like hindering your progress, okay? Some of you guys, you like stop working on something when either someone comes in and you need to like watch out for that stuff because sometimes this can also get in the way of um like uh your forward progress like for some of you guys like say for example you have a business you might see some backward progress or things kind of digress in your business because that's connected to you like it could affect you monetarily in some way or anything that you've been like kind of and I can see that this is kind of why you feel maybe a bit defeated because it could be a feeling a little bit resistant right now for you that you're like uh, something is maybe slow moving or it requires a lot of effort and maybe even time for you to like research into something or get things going but I can see that um, it's a lot about your perspective over this next week and that's why I wonder if depending on that like it's like when you start to get a bit defeated some of you guys might feel pulled back to something look how fascinating that is that the eight of cups came out on both sides right there straight up so you walk away from something and then it's like you or that thing comes back or that person it's like it comes back around this is this is like your own little beast that you're having to tame within yourself right now for whoever this resonates for. But interestingly, here's over here on the side, on the bottom, we have the Four of Cups upside down. I feel like right now you're actually releasing a lot of disappointment about someone or something. Things are actually beginning to be positive. Some of you guys, if this could be about travel as well it's possible here i feel like there could be an opportunity coming in for you some of you guys this could be like a sunny location even if that applies don't get too caught up on that but i feel like um you could have had something come in very positive very it's like you're gonna have a turn of events here with the wheel of fortune and it could be something about a home or something along those lines it's really looking good, but I can, for some reason, I feel like you might, it's, you might have a fear come up to the surface for you, like some type of fear of commitment or getting into it. You might be preparing to be defensive or preparing to defend yourself. And so that could be like, almost like in your energy, what's happening is you're not really making plans or taking action quite yet. You've kind of like maybe regressed a little bit because it could even be that you went back into your shadow in some way, shape or form, maybe some form of negativity because that sun card came upside down. So it's like, you're kind of going back and forth between positive and then shadow you know like there's a lot of that kind of shifting back and forth in some way shape or form also 
For some of you guys, I feel like you could be connecting, like I was saying with the Emperor. You could be talking to a particular person and I feel like there's going to be a lot of really weird activations to take place there. This could be a person that is kind of rigid, like, you know, the typical Emperor card. They're hard to budge, a little bit unchangeable, stubborn, and... I feel like you could be connecting with them in some way. For some reason, I think it's very positive. Some of you guys, this could be very... Um, what was I going to say? It could be father type of energy for some of you guys. But some of you guys also, this could be a pretty significant age difference between you and maybe even a romantic interest or like a boss. So here's what I can see that's happening there. This interaction with this person, it's a lot of masculine energy that's coming in over this next week. And, and, and I don't know what it is. It's like you could have been planning to do something, but something could have popped up, some type of shadow energy that's kind of like preventing your forward movement, preventing progress, okay? And interestingly, over the side here, I do feel like there's you're releasing disappointments over the past like there's a lot of stuff that's that is coming in that's very good but you might have someone pop back in like say it's a little combination between the devil and the emperor let's say you have someone pop in and you're like they're not changing you realize it you will see it subtly you know it might be hard to see with the devil and the emperor because this person is very strategic about what they present about themselves they have a very calculated front image and the words that they speak it's very like well constructed they keep something together but the devil card is some type of shadow energy that's it's not being presented on the surface so I feel like you have some form of illumination with the Sun card especially coming out twice it's actually really good even though it was upside down it's like you might have a bit of a moment where you see something, <laughs> you know, like you, you catch something or you, you, you see maybe some, this person in their shadow energy, maybe the hypocrisy. I'm getting that a little bit for some random reason, but I'm seeing that you might have a slight moment of disappointment, but it will re be released semi quickly where you're just like, you, you kind of are just like, I knew that this is what I would get with this person. You're very aware. You're very... And it could be also, too, that you're just in a higher energy pre than previously if you had ever dealt with this person. So you're... Especially over this next week, you'll find it easier to get positive when you do something specific. There, It'll be easy to activate this energy. And it's going to be helpful for you because the wheel is turning for you, my friend. The wheel of fortune, it's like... I feel like the tables are turning in a really fascinating way. You could be dealing with a person where like things are going very positive for you. It's not going so well for someone that you're connecting with. And so like tables are turning in a positive way for you, for you because of maybe that you've accomplished something significant with that strength card. Like you've been overcoming your fears. You're becoming very strong, brave, courageous, like just able to go towards things and not let your fear control you you've got you've got it tempered in some way and it's maybe through your ability to just focus on the positive that's really activating a lot of amazing stuff and the will of fortune is turning it in a positive direction that's why i was like oh heck yes it's going to be a lot about your perception and what you're observing and even if you've got your observation on things that seem very negative if you can kind of get control over your mind and i do feel like you might see someone in a very different way this next week, okay? Someone from your past. I feel like you guys are also releasing emotional ties to the past significantly. Like, it's going to be kind of trippy with the weird perspective shifts that you get about a particular person like in the past for example you could have seen someone with rose colored glasses that you thought that can totally be the page of cups where you're kind of vacillating back and forth oh that's what's interesting i can see here 
some of you guys, there's, there's something significant that you've accomplished. Let's say that you guys have transformed into the emperor. Now you've got a person that's coming towards you and you're, the tables have turned. You're now at a different frequency and maybe you've just, you're a boss. And now this person is coming towards you, trying to like emotionally hook up with you. They're trying to like emotionally to attached to you in some way and to your entity or whatever um accomplishments that because you didn't skirt around like you didn't take shortcuts or anything you went in and did the hard work there's someone coming in that like could be wanting to come towards you but the, it's weird flip of the energy that i'm seeing so that's why i can see that someone's coming maybe back towards you you guys are maybe, you're you're not really focused so much on this anymore. You're releasing a lot of disappointment about that. And maybe even some of you guys, you're releasing just this energy. You've been in very apathetic, just not caring about a whole lot. That's going to be released. There's going to be a really positive turnover this next week. And you will see it when you connect with another person. You'll be like, whoa, like previously you saw them as this emperor, like that you could have unconsciously put them on a pedestal for some form of accomplishments but they they didn't go about it a right way it's like now you've had through experience like whatever trials and tribulations you've been through you did a lot of deep inner shadow work and there's a person coming forward that doesn't know how to do it the way that you did they kind of went by societal ways or by the book and you didn't go that way you took the the unbeaten path to get to where you were today and now this person's like shit like how do i get there you know very fascinating table turning thing so it's looking good Sag I would just keep doing what you're doing keep activating that sun energy because that's amazing to come out at the beginning okay my loves so I'm gonna leave it there no extended for this week but I'm sending you guys lots of love wishing you all the very best and I'll see you in your next reading take care